Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to have a very special different kind of video. We're going to do 5 Talia games in flex for this video for all 5 roles to discuss the difference between roles. I wanted to do it in solo queue, but if I play support it would be a massive troll and you should permaban me. So I really don't want to do solo queue support Talia. I could do the rest of them. Because I play them without a problem, but the support one. So I decided I'm going to do all in flex. Because I could do it better right here. I enjoy it. I'm also a Rengar against a Rengar on top. We're going to start with top Talia. We're going to continue with jungle Talia, mid Talia, ADC Talia and support Talia. And in each, each video we're going to talk about this role, how to play it. And then in the next one we're going to talk about that role and the previous one. So for the jungle we're going to, play, we're going to talk about jungle and top comparison. For mid about mid jungle and top for bot about bot mid jungle top and so on and at the end i'm going to try if i don't forget to create some stats some um, little niche things like best uh, and most fun role strongest role uh most trollish role and stuff like that okay i'm not going to help you apparently okay thought i have to but i think it's the solo start I don't play with chat enabled by the way. So I'm playing Talia top with Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Rebel Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Prince of Mind, Cup the Grace, and this rune starts with attack speed and armor. I'm against a Rengar with, Ign I mean, with Ignite, he's with Teleport. He has a Doran. He's going to probably try to mercilessly jump on me, and I'm going to do a full cure right here. Okay. Going to beat him, aren't we? Better player wins. I should have died there. Certainly and most definitely I should have died there. <laughs> Alright, let's bait him in. Let's bait him in. I didn't want I didn't want to force it cuz I win I win it like that. This is a win for me. He can't can he can come close. So I I've, I've told you the runes guys. I'm playing with electrocute and oh boy. This guy is insane. <laughs> I'm not I'm not playing duo, I swear. I'm not. This is just a good shake, oh man. Holy Holy moly, the amount of help he gave me. This isn't... This isn't on purpose. <laughs> Neither the kill, nor the help from Shaco. And I am going to push this in. I am going to actually help him. Because if Rengar comes, he's just going to lose a massive, massive amount of stuff there. Okay. So get the guy. <laughs> God, this is a slaughter, it's 7-0 already. So I'm going to talk about the build for each one, I'm going to timestamp the games, every single one, and I'm going to go for items now. For top lane, generally I go for Lyandry first, uh, mainly because we're against so many bruisers, and I start in all of them, well, besides jungle and support, I start with the Dora ring and two potions. On mid, you can surrender, no problem. <laughs> on mid, sometimes it works to play with corrupting, but I dislike it. Right now, on top, I'm playing with Lyandris, Sork Shoes, and then Seekers. Sometimes Seekers faster. I might go for Seekers next item because we want to survive the AD top matchups. And against Assassins on mid, that works as well. So Seekers is very strong, guys, and it can actually win you games by solo, by going first item. But if you go Seekers, you're going to notice that you're going to have some form of mana issues. So I didn't lose a single CS out of that. So you gotta understand that it's a slight chance that you might get killed. Even 3-0 as I am right here, you might lose without Seekers. So Zonia and Seekers, especially on top, is a good choice and a good pick. As always, uh, for all of these uh, games, I'm maxing Q, then E, then W, obviously ultimate uh, as often as you can. And whenever you have Ignite, you could go for the kill. And I'm just going to do a full Q. Now I'm not scared of Rengar because I'm so far ahead. And with Ignite 
gained red buff, there is absolutely no chance for him to actually defeat me. So he's going to try to come close. I, my job here at this point is to be as annoying as possible so that he cannot really farm. So I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna do Q's, I'm gonna do E's. I'm gonna be so freaking annoying, like he's going to hate me. And I got proc here, electrocute as well. So he's at half HP, has potions, but if he tries to come, I would kill at least one of him and Viego. If Kiana comes, that's a problem, but we can we can work with it. I'm going, I think, for uh, Seekers just to ensure that we're no longer losing this. And yeah, it's not a good idea to go into melee range. Definitely not, but knowing I am having ignite you've seen you've seen how he almost even killed me So that's why seekers is required so that you don't get into the nasty moments where the Rengar will just Two shot you for no reason. So uh, for the first game top lane goes insanely well, man And I think I could go for one more here uh, Plates, this is the risky part of the game really risky because uh, we don't see Rengar and I could probably get away with it. Not gonna push it, just gonna back off. A lot of gold. A lot of gold. I'm gonna recall here. He lost enough. I'm gonna use ult to come back to lane. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to talk abilities because you have my guide for that. But Seekers, man. At this point, Seekers and the potion is all I need. They are also full AD. Score is 14 2 for Christ's sake. And this is platinum level. It's flex. It's not. Gold, silver, bronze, I expect more from these kind of players, especially from a Rengar player. As Rengar is actually quite simple to play against at Lia. Like, I guess, besides Darius, Rengar is one of the strongest counters on top, so I just still played it, because why not? Okay, so now he's level 6. Him being 6 means I need to get to have Seekers, because if I wouldn't, he would just do his thing and one-shot me, and I would have absolutely no chance to win against him. And we cleared that. I'm going here. If he comes, uh, I could have been dead there. So we leave the we leave the wave at a neutral state. We ping that there might be a Rengar. I stick with alt around here to go mid. If he went here, I don't go here because he might be there. And I stay around because I truly expect him. Really, I truly expect him to be mid. Okay. Okay, I've been spotted. I'm backing off. It's fine. I'm seeing Rengar. We still can dive this guy. Okay, we didn't even. Well, that was a five man dive right there. I can go back to mid with my ult. He can get a plate, I don't mind it. I didn't lose that much. Whenever I'm ahead in this, I try to go and get rid of the rest of the stuff. Okay, he took two tower shots. I could definitely beat him here. Wanna jump on me, man? He's still in range. Is he here? I don't know where he went, <laughs> but then again, <laughs> he got away with the plate. That's good for him. I still can kill him with ignite and auto attacks, and I also got my thing here. So I'm going to push it in. Recall having a bit of lag, frame drops. I don't know why, but it's actually pretty damn good feeling that we destroy him so hard because it's a Rengar. If it would be any other top laner besides Darius and Rengar, I would or Irelia, I wouldn't be happy. But against those, fuck them, man. I hate them. I hate them. I truly do. So top lane game going pretty fine. We're going to see after that on jungle the differences between jungle and top. I believe, honestly, playing jungle, playing top, it's one of the most uh, solo role of all. Basically, you're on your own island against uh, the, your opponent, and it's very, very difficult sometimes to be the guy who wins. Uh, in some matchups it's annoying, but in some matchups, if you're careful, it's going to be fine. 
in general uh you should be careful of darius you should ban it every time rengar is fairly impossible if the guy is good i'm going to ping that he's missing uh besides that something like Hilawe cannot be killed but he cannot really kill you unless you do some mistakes Gnar can be difficult if you aren't good with your w if you're good with your w it's not really he cannot really kill you uh, fiora very hard if she uses w properly very easy if she ints in some points of the game early or if you're spacing and do full queues against Fiora early, level 2, 1, 2, 3, you're going to actually beat her. Same with Jax, before 6 you're going to beat him. After lane entry, if you're even, you're going to beat most of these champions. Nasus is annoying, you should just roam, honestly. Pantheon is doable, but if Pantheon is actually okay, it's easy, but he's so nerfed, it's painful. And I'm just gaining here armor and CS advantage, that's all I'm doing at this point because I know he won't come close he's just struggling man he's just look at him look at him I mean I did this in solo queue as well this kind of place I did that strictly because people have no idea what they are up against on top you've got the most advantage out of all with that no one knows what Tulia is no one knows who or what you are or what your spells do because top laners never leave their little island so yeah I'm having frame drops again I expect a Rengar teleport I'm not seeing it I expect a Rengar ult as well I'm not seeing it I can flash out flash to a spot where there is no actual uh, bash so towards this and I see no Rengar ult on top of me I see he kinda gave up I proc that. He hates his life and I love that he hates his life. Oops. Proper spacing like this. Proper spacing. Do not let him get close. If you get advantage you could with Talia technically just slaughter them and not let them get up. I need to see why I have lags. But you got the point for this game I suppose. So definitely if you were doing stats and statistics and stuff like that, the role with the most um, impact is not top, it's quite the opposite. Because uh, it's the role you probably roam the least, Com same with bot. And this would be the role where you do one versus one the most, so if you like that part about Leah, this is the role where it, it happens. Basically this is where one versus one happens and this is where you can go for Ten CS per minute, one versus one, destroy the opponent. But then again, on top you don't have that much agency, and there are a lot of Tinkoms you could ruin. So I want to talk about that fact. There are a thousand things that I could talk about in this video. Score is twenty-four, four. So I think it's pretty much clear that we destroyed this game by a large margin. I see no Rengar. I'm, he might jump on me here. I, they might have opened. I don't know why I have chat enabled though. Definitely, they definitely might have opened. Okay, so they got another kill there. Okay, so Lyandry and we could go for more. I could go for Sork Shoes. Generally, Sork Shoes is the best on Talia. I've seen some mids going for Lucidity, general mids, but not, not Talia players. Because on Talia you need this, the Sork Pen, the magic pen, right? So we destroyed top, we roam properly. On top your purpose is to do two versus twos with your jungler, one, to not die to ganks and to murder the enemy opponent. And sometimes if when you feel like you can't turn the tide into that game, to actually roam after level six bot and to be first at Drake's in general and stuff like that. As you can see, this game was quite, uh, quite a stomp. Did not expect it, but then again, uh, then again, uh, the Rengar should have been more difficult, but the early was kind of tilting for him. Shaco came. I think he went AFK. Okay, we got that. <laughs> oh no, he beats me. <laughs> See, without Seekers... 
without seekers, a random 0504 Viego, which is two levels behind, could have killed me theoretically, could have ruined my score without seekers. Because, okay, I did not hit W, but then again, in theory, my burst could have been and should have been bigger. And if I went for Ludens there, it could have been better, but I like Landry. But if you do this kind of place, you need seekers, guys. So this was the first game. We're going to save it up. We're going to move uh, for the next roll. And I'm going to actually move the camera like this, man. What? Okay. So let's move to jungle now. So here we are guys into the jungle game and if I keep winning all the games like the top lane one I'm going to be in no time challenger on flex. I'm gonna ping my team, this is around platinum one, platinum two I think level. I'm having an insane matchmaking rating obviously and we're going to discuss now what are you, well, I mean, when you roam. They've seen us. Why? Why am I first? Can I start here? Well. Well. Maybe we got invaded? Maybe? Alright, so for jungle, you want to generally play with Dark Harvest or Face Rush based on needs. For example, other plays with Face Rush you might need it. Uh, the face rush. We, you want to play with Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Prince of Mind, Cup of the Grace, and these rune stats if you go for this. If not, uh, for the face rush, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, and Water Walking generally will do. Same with Prince of Mind and Cup of the Grace, get them if you can. Here on uh, the Dark Harvest part, you could also go here for Nimbus and Water Walking or something to help you escape something and fight. But I like the uh, Dark Harvest, uh, I like this scalability power, so to say, and how insane it makes you. Oh my god, I love bot lanes that leash so hard. Oh my god, you guys. All the love for you guys. So generally the build is quite similar. You can go for uh, Ludens into Sork Shoes. You might want to go for something like uh, secondary uh, Cosmic Drive if you want it. And then, or Zonia, obviously. And then you can see Rabadon sometimes works. Going for... Um, Mesh Eyes also works, I would show you the items, but at this point I really need to focus on the CS. So again, loot and sword shoes as fast as you can, red trinket and vision words as often as you can, and you're going to be just fine. You're going to see I'm doing the clear right here. Uh, obviously, um, try to wear your blue always, because if you don't start at it and if you lose it, you're going to have some bad times. It's not really enjoyable to play without a blue. And it seems that somehow on mid we have first blood. And I'm moving now to blue. I see on top we have a Shen that's having advantage always when you're jungle. Uh, compared to the others, you gotta constantly look to your lanes. Because you can gank somewhere to completely turn the tide of the game. And that's whatever, all you need, honestly, to well to carry this. I would kite it here that I just want to move a bit back to do a full Q and auto attacks. And I could, okay, we could we could definitely kill him. He's dead, he's dead here, he's dead. This was so simple. And I'm going here, if Udyr jumps on me, I will just flash over the wall and W under myself. Most likely, most likely there is an Udyr somewhere, but I can just do the full combo here and smite it and we'll be fine. I did smite because there would have been an echo, maybe close, or a word, exactly. I predicted that. Alright, so we might see now a teleport on top, and the trick you could do here to destroy them completely is to just follow on top again and to get the kill. Power farming is good, helping your Shen is better, uh, but uh, I don't think I have to, because now we look at the push. It's so pushed in our favor, I could just power farm, power clear. Um, look at the top a bit, he's still destroying the guy, mid lane is winning, so really, I'm not into that, into that bit of a pickle or problems. Talon is ganking bot, which means I could go mid, he's coming back, so he will want this CS. Neko didn't push for some reason. And I'm power farming strictly because uh, you will 
be stronger in mid game every single time regardless of what you do because that's where Talia shines right and against Udyr if you don't power farm he will just absolutely dismantle you with the fact that he did power farm for 35 minutes and this is going to reset isn't it no it didn't well that's surprising and on bot I could probably try here a lane gank and if this fails well I think actually Talon cleared it Go, 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 go. Okay. Have a count engage. I'm going to flash out. Udir. Heal from this. Udir went too deep in. Udir went way too deep in. Obviously, after your bot flashes back and... Well, you don't really have the burst, you know you don't have the burst. As you can see, I already have two ganks in the same pharmacy. And I'm going to heal a lot from this. I'm slightly backing off here because they can still murder me if I'm not careful. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm not recalling now because I could do more camps. As you can see, I can go towards this, towards Gromp, and Talon is also bot. <laughs> oh my god. Also Shen ult, this guy. Ah. So, we not only played exceptionally well early on, we also uh, farmed good, we got the lanes where we had CC. When you're in jungle, you want to follow those lanes. Uh, and look, we can actually gank top now. Just teleport onto that. Just don't. That's a lot of fuel, man. And now we're just gonna do this and push. It's so... Okay, you want to hold the wave. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I can go wolves. I can go bot. And see, I died one versus one for no reason. Probably she just got caught. So I can keep doing this. I can keep uh, pushing. I don't care about the Drake. Very important, especially since my Sona died. What I do care is being on top of Odir every single time. So I could get this and I don't care about the Drake. No, don't, don't, it's pointless. Or we could, we could defend it, we could get that. I have a lot of gold on me and there is a scuttle that I might want and Talon has prior. It's very important that Talon has prior. There might be an Odir who started this, yeah. It's fine. I could just go around here, maybe perhaps try to start red, but I could also gank bot without them having any chances of actually defending themselves. So I'm just gonna do this, full combo, please kill her. And now we can move uh, towards this bush where it's so that Udir doesn't try funny stuff. Talon is ganking top. It's so simple if you know where to be on the map and which lanes have prior. Sometimes it's possible on jungle that all your lanes have no prior and you're going to absolutely hate yourself because bot loses, top loses, mid loses. You won't necessarily do anything in that game. And that's strictly because Talia is needing at least one lane with prior. For example, I had Vagar and Nasus in the last video. I had Vagar and Nasus, but a Draven on bot. I kept the Draven, it's simple. And now we're going to do the first recall. We're gonna get this, we're gonna get that, we're gonna get a vision word, maybe two, and we're going to get the dark seal. Simple, all the stuff that we need. And we see now we can go for this bot side jungle and hopefully uh, blue buff as well if they didn't steal it. If they did steal it, uh, they probably take Herald as well, but that's really not that, uh, not that important because we can just gank lanes because we have CC on top and prior on other lanes. Now I should have beat Shen a bit harder early on. I didn't expect him to stomp her like that. So I'm just gonna get that. I could perhaps try to help me. As you can see, both now, because of the ganks and because of the early help, they absolutely win. And I cannot really help him, but I can go behind. Maybe try something funny. I could probably try... Okay. It is a possibility that... Well, I'm not... 
it is a possibility that Udir would uh, steal or would have steal. I think I missed that bash. My blue. Okay, he didn't. Surprisingly well. I really thought he would. And now Eloy should know I'm here. Apparently, he loses regardless the one versus one. Okay, let's push it. That's what you can do here, definitely push it. And there is no wave that comes, so we got massive advantage. I do not have uh, I do not have smite, but I don't need it. I can just cast Qs here, because Talia deals insane damage in the jungle. As you can see, I'm behind in farm, but very very far ahead in rest. You cannot really keep up this patch with Udir, you cannot uh, you can keep up with Lila, but you cannot really defeat her uh, unless you count again properly. And I don't care about that trick. I really don't. Let them take it. Let them. Let them have the small things. And we probably win that as well. I, cause Shen teleported. Yeah. Uh, Shen ulted. I mean. Now uh, Ilaoi has massive wave, I'm going to take it and whenever you do that you're going to gain it advantage because the game rewards you uh, for getting this side CS and for defending. Not a lot of CS but at least a bit. And Ilaoi does Ilaoi things. I'm just gonna full push this. I think she's just tilted at this point. Uh, I did gank a lot more than Odir, and I also have CS advantage now with this and two levels ahead advantage. So I see the scuttle that is next into the spawn. So this was put so fast. Please put it at four, at three plates and a half, not faster. Because now we're auto attacking the same, but on a much stronger tower. That's very stupid to put the herald before a certain point. It's very very stupid. Get the cannon as well. Well, I didn't lose anything. Okay. Well, she's tilted. I can give you that. And we can end it on top. Scuttle spawned, as I told you. We can uh, get this tower. Compared to top, honestly, uh, you on jungle have the most map presence. Slightly the same with mid, but um, probably uh, a lot more available farm. A lot more safer. Jungle is probably the safest role, strictly because you can AFK farm and... Unless you play against nasty matchups, such as Rengar, which I always ban or some Kha'Zixes or I don't know there are some champions that can just run you down unless they know how to invade and if you don't know how to expect it then yeah you might you might have problems if they do know how to invade you definitely will have problems if you don't work properly or don't position properly or don't play with Nimbus Cloak or some combination of these okay it seems like this has been stolen and I don't think I have either golems but we're still so far ahead three levels ahead by this and you see this man you see this okay so we can go for this uh, I can go for cosmic drive I'm gonna write it here I don't know why he died because he seen him he had time to see him, to him and now I can go mid because there are 20 seconds until Talon will come and I'll get a lot of CS bot lane doing bot lane things two kraken slayers on bot more than what's needed and again, compared with top on jungle, you do the least one versus ones, almost never really, and you have the most scalability on jungle, I'd say. So if top is the most one versus one, one role type, uh, jungle is the most scalable one. So the, the role in which you can be the most levels ahead, because on mid they also have farm, but on bot, on a, on top they also have farm, on, but 
ADC, they also have farm. But on jungle, if you do it properly, if you farm at the speed, at correct speeds, in mid game, you should always be ahead at a certain point. This is the point where Udyr should never be able to keep up with me in farm. Strictly because I'm Talia and strictly because I am this strong in mid game. This is what Talia does in mid game. She farms a lot. So if you're looking for the most snowballish, if played correctly with an asterisk, then it's gonna, it's gonna be jungle. Mm, it's going to be also probably the most difficult one on tie with mid, so I might repeat myself or I might have various opinions depending on how well I know Talia at that certain point, but right now jungle, if you're playing correctly, as you've seen, the higher elo you go, the stronger this is, so... Good ult. But apparently, not enough. Apparently, really not enough. Look, 40 CS gap. And you just press Qs and people die. And I'm going for Drake. Even though my topside jungle is there, it's tempting to go to the topside jungle. I can just go and start it. And I'm not sure how to compare it with me because it's so two different things. In theory, if you play perfectly on mid, you're going to have much more impact in, than in jungle, regardless. But in mid, if you have a lot of bad matchups. In jungle, you don't really have that many bad matchups. And in mid, a good Syndra can pose you problems, for example. But in jungle, I don't think a good Ivern will ever kill you 1 versus 1, for example, and you'll be practically safer and you will be loving your life more so i'm sticking to the mid is the hardest one if i think about it and jungle is the most snowballish one i think that's how we're gonna stay with it i'm gonna do a full queue here uh, not sure if i can take this in time okay apparently i can don't have smite i have alt here i'm gonna do a full queue Okay, and move here. Well, didn't spawn yet. Okay, spawn the damn thing, thank you. And this takes forever. Alright. And I think in base I have cosmic drive now. I also have, also this is my second game which I haven't died so it seems like playing quite perfectly. Let's select the cosmic drive there. Well I can just put this, we can bridge base. Please don't lose HP for no reason, thank you. And Shin has ult. Okay, congrats, you stopped my... I don't care. I mean, Neko should have hit me with that. He <laughs> threw <wrote> her back. <laughs> and this is the point where we do funny stuff. I was afraid that she was going to pull out some burst from somewhere and murder me. But yeah, uh, I don't know, please don't say that. I don't feel good about it either. Anyway, this was the jungle game, so top lane most 1 versus 1. Man, <laughs> top this. <laughs> 0 7. I mean, okay. Even the support is broken, man. Uh, 
I know you cannot get close to me. And I also see the lags. Yeah, let's end. Because I don't like the lags. Let's end. Ah, never mind. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Nope. So again, on top, the role with most 1 versus 1 potential on jungle, the most carry potential in snowball, and obviously lags. Uh, mid lane, hardest role. Probably mid lane is the role where you need to know the macro, most macro out of all. Two, one. Bot and support, I don't really know what to tell you, man. Okay, that's a flash. At this point, I'm just... Oh. Well, I guess... 4,000 gold. That's an echo. I was sure it's an echo. Ha! <laughs> nice. This timing. Anyway, that was the jungle game. We're going to move to the mid game, and I already have two games with zero deaths. I never had that. This kind of insane place that I'm quite tired right now so this is what you need to do in the jungle this is the main difference compared to top is basically just a lot more stobalish it's you move on the map a lot compared to nowhere to co compared to almost not at all onto the jungle and I guess that's it we move now to the mid lane so here we are guys into the mid game we're going to play Talia mid why are those like this what? Riot? I thought in flex it's going to be put in the right spot. What? Hold on a second. Let me fix this atrocity once and for all. I think it's like that. I'm not sure. So I'm playing Clea mid now. After we played Tulia top, Tulia jungle, we had no deaths in previous games. And we're going to try to do a Tulia mid guide and compare with the other roles. Again, we said that top might be the most one versus one role. Uh, jungle might be the well, <laughs> jungle might be the most snowball-ish role. And mid is going to be the most macro-intensive one, because uh, you gotta know the map, man, on mid. And mid is probably the role in which you want to do most uh, two versus twos, but the top works as well, jungle as well. But mid is the one where you need to help your jungler, you need to be all present on map and you also need to know not only how to move bot and when or top how to help your jungler you also need to do wave management so it's very important that you know all of this stuff i'm staying right here because their bot might do something funny i'm just trying okay i see no one i guess they didn't even take that okay so I'm gonna be against the Lucian, I'm going to talk about the runes and he's certainly not winning this trade. Boy, you're, you're, you're seeing it. He has no E, he has no E, he has no E. That's good enough. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Respectable. <laughs> Alright, so I'm playing Tlia mid with Electrocute, uh, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Raven of Santa, Prince of Mind, Cup the Grace, and these rune stats. Basically, you could go for attack speed as well. I don't really care about it right now. I sometimes do go for attack speed, but it works. And generally, I go for Lyandrian mid, and I could go right now too, because Cho and Leona are heavy tanks. And I could definitely use Lyandrian to my advantage. And then we're going for something like... I can go for early Seekers because we're against a heavy AD. I mean, he's going to eventually press ultimate on me and I'm going to struggle with it. 
So yeah, uh, Seekers definitely is a pick. And I'm trying to get CS advantage here, as you can see. Trying to play it slow. So basically the mid build would be something like Sork Shoes, something like Seekers, into Tome, into full... Uh... Oh no, I missed the cannon. Into Tome, into Lost Chapter, I mean, into Lyandry, and then maybe Zonia or something like that. I don't know yet exactly. I'm gonna get all of those and I'm gonna think that he's missing so these guys should really back off and faster than that. Yep. He apparently took the plant but in time, see if you do this kind of things, if you do have this kind of awareness, you're going to absolutely love yourself and your team will absolutely love you too because it's... Those things carry games man, I'll tell you. So I'm just going here for Seekers, I'm going for these two parts, I'm not rushing in completing it. Uh, going for Seekers will actually make you have not that much mana, so it's going to be a hit into you, into your build, but it's going to help you because you go regardless for Zonia, at second item after the Lyandris and Sorcerer's the third item. Well, Cosmic Drive works as well in easier matchups and also, for example, you're against Exerat or Velkos, Artillery, or heavy skill shots that cannot 100 to 0 you, then obviously Cosmic Drive will be a good pick because it will give you movement speed so that you can dodge even more skill shots. But if you're against the Syndra, then if she one shots you with your ult, with her ult, then you're not really going to be that useful, are you? Now I'm gonna ping for Zack to come and gank because this is free, because he just casted uh, his flash and look how deep he is. Or he wears it and and I've put the wave in such a perfect and pristine position now I can just do this with every single one of those oh my god I love farming like this okay so we are here we are having a Zach coming close I'm backing off slightly because we don't want to rush it in and it's it's possible you should just E he just loses CS, man. He loses a lot of CS here. So I don't care. I just I just do my thing. Get this stuff. Get early advantage. Do my build. And you should probably go Rabadon start. Because you're going to see that you're not going to have that much... Uh, that much damage. So you're going to think like, well, why I cannot one-shot people? That's obvious. Uh, because you went for a build that... Uh, do not uh, with Zonia secondary you're not going to have burst so it's normal but if you go Rabadons after that you're going to be fine sometimes I like scaling I go Rabadons as well what is Lucian doing I mean if you fail that he teleported it seems and I will not follow because I could simply push this first in I get advantage through that but it seems it doesn't matter it truly doesn't now as a mid laner you should never do what Lucian did there. Okay, if he comes close, full combo, and I'm not having that much mana to play around with it, but boy, if you do what Lucian did, you're just shooting yourself in the leg, really. And I can just keep pushing this without a problem. I'm gonna wait here so that Fiddlesticks doesn't get random level 6 from that and murders me. And we're getting this plate, and we continue being amazing. As we just are right now. I'm moving here, wording, recalling, and actually I'm going into position so that we. Well, this is tempting. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh! You missed it, I didn't see. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I played League too much today and I'm doing stuff like that, so I kind of feel bad for it, but then again, I'm going to tell you a little story of why this kind of tilt happens. Basically, I queued mid jungle, I got jungle, I dodged, I got jungle a secondary time and dodge, and this guy got roasted. And yeah, we could, we could, we could, we could, we could. Oh, 
Well, congrats. There is also the teleport from Yone, which is quite pointless, but it's good. So I queued as mid jungle, I got jungle, I dodged. I queued as mid jungle, I got jungle, I dodged. I queued as mid jungle, I got jungle. I actually, I actually queued as a mid bot, I got jungle. I despised that game completely, and then, well, I got mid, someone dodged, and I finally got mid, so this is like sixth try after an hour and a half, so you can see why I could do some random mints like that, because I'm massively, massively tilted, really. Uh, we also expect now a fiddlestick type roam, something nasty. We're also going for almost 10 seals per minute, it seems. I don't have flash, really need to... I missed that, okay, didn't, because cannon switching randomly. So, what you want to do on mid, this CS gap is affordable. When you're against teleport, you cannot really follow in time. And, like, Fusion Word is gonna get taken. I think you just realized it. And going for a lot of CS is worth, especially if the enemy fails his teleport bot. But when you're against teleport, you should rejoice. I could have played way more aggressive than this, I just didn't feel like it. I could probably, I could probably be extremely annoying, as you can see here, I could. I just like the CS, winning in CS like this is also a very good thing to do. And I'm tempted here, I'm tempted here to take this guy's blue, but I guess not. Now, if he fully ults me, I won't die because I'm full HP. But if I'm not careful, he can definitely, definitely murder me. So we're going to be, we're going to be fine. Okay. And I'm doing silver. What? Ah! Tired man. No, no. Okay. He doesn't recall. He's trying to, he's trying to catch up in farm, which is fair. He could eat through the minions, but then again, his dash would be on cooldown. And so what we want to do is to keep doing uh, the farming, get my items, and once you have Landry's or at least Lost Chapter, you are in for a treat, because it's amazing to have unlimited mana. I'm losing CS, so much CS for no reason at all. No one coming? No one coming. I'm just staying like this because I know we could easily kill him. I could technically try to solo him, but it would be just a risk because fiddlesticks might come. And there, there is certainly a fiddlesticks there. So that's why I'm going bot. 100% fiddlesticks there. Yep. And you got the back off, man. <laughs> and now I have mana to actually murder the fiddlesticks as well. <laughs> oh, why did you win, Vayne? <laughs> All your game was based on the fact that I don't have ignite? Really? And you should recall. You should recall. I've told you to recall. I was fine. Okay, so as we said, this build, Rel might be dead. Or not. Oh! Ha! Alive and well. Anyway, let's farm a bit more. Let's get this plate. I knew I was 100% sure Fiddlesty Whether You need to have this awareness, guys. And this is just sad, really. This is painful. This is painful. If you don't have this kind of awareness, you have to work on thinking what jungler I'm against. If it's a heavy old jungler like Fiddlesticks, or even, I don't know, any jungler with a burst ult. You have to think, or even if Tulia, if there would have been a Tulia, I have to think, well, she could be there because this is an obvious bait. She could definitely, definitely do nasty things with the full combo if she hits it, so let's just be careful. Let's just be careful. And normally, we would have lost, but because I roamed first, and because I'm the better mid laner, sorry to say it, but it's true, this kind of stuff happens. And now I have a lot of plates, almost 10 CS per minute, and it's quite painful for them. Because, well, Ash actually winning alone. 
Oh boy. Do you mind if I kill you? What? What? I had flash, but I got full comboed and I'm pissed. Again, this is the kind of game in which I'm going insane because of that freaking weight. Should have flashed. Should have definitely flashed. Now, if he has his passive, he's, he's fine. But at least if I get on top of my head, fiddlestick ults, then I don't care. I missed even the combo there. I don't care because one people getting killed by fiddlestick, it's fine. The problem starts when it's multiple. So again, onto the mid lane. Apparently, I played worse or just the late arrow. Onto the mid lane, you could see how much impact you have, but you can definitely see that you have a bit less impact than jungle and way more than on the other three uh, top support. And it's pretty much clear that if you play mid good, you could carry. But again, it's also clear that this is not an S tier pick. There are better mages and and obviously you could get away with better stuff. You can you can do stuff like that. You can you can do stupid stuff like this, and it will always work. If you are ahead, if you are this ahead. gonna steal your crap <laughs> thank you I might get ulted by him now nope he's top what are you doing man I mean that's a real no you should have backed off there out because there is a fiddlesticks that flanks me somewhere man man oh we can't hit it I guess we can't kill him because I can't hit it either <laughs> all right Still pretty fine for a game in which I inted two times like a pig. Nothing to do with pigs though. All me. Vision words, guys. On mid, I'd say it's the most important and on jungle, quite even. It's very important to get these vision words. And as you've seen, I started with Dora and it's also important to keep track of your mana. If you play with presence of mind, you can get it. Uh, your life can be easier, but can you leave me alone? I have ult. And you don't have enough damage. Now, if he doesn't fear me in time with the ult, I could definitely... I could definitely do fine. And, okay, so the discussion goes like, if you're playing... If you're playing mid, you have to manage your mana right. Because if you don't, you're going to get to a roam where you have 20% mana or you will not roam at all. And if you don't mind. Oh. Well, that was the stopwatch that I've told <laughs> you about. Because that was an ugly, very bad ugly ult <laughs> from Fiddlestick. Okay, I'm. I'm not even. <laughs> that armor man just destroys them. That armor just destroys them, really. And so, uh, managing your mana properly can be done even with corrupting potion if you cannot play. But if you're with, if you cannot manage it properly, but if you're against an assassin, then you're going to struggle definitely. And so that was the mid game. So remember mana management, uh, vision words, keep track of the enemy mid laner ping and try to get kills if you can. Try not to overextend because 
it's, you need to survive, it's the hardest role to survive as well. On jungle, you can just chill. So that's why mid might be the hardest and the most macro intensive. So combine all of the stuff that you learn through Talia matchups and Talia playstyles. Learn the matchups, dodge the matchups, which are insane, Zed, Katarina, Fizz. Focus on the rest and you're going to be fine. Roam whenever you feel like you will gain something. Don't roam when you think you're going to lose. I didn't roam much. I got a lot of CS advantage that works as well if you can carry it afterwards. That's all, guys. I'm going for a bot now. Um, see you into that game. Talia ADC. Well, APC. Hello again. Again, it's me, your friend. Your Talia. Friendly local Talia. Let me check the if I start the video because I think I haven't. <laughs> Okay, I did. Okay, apparently I did. So, we're playing Tlia bot with a brand. Basically, Tlia bot ADC, I mean, well, APC, is the most easy of all of those, because you have... Oh, boy. I got charmed to the face. I'm not gonna flash that. On this roll, you have the most... Um... Well, this is a failure. You have the easiest time, so to say, <laughs> that we just lose the game here. And you have the easiest time strictly because... That, that was massive int, man. Strictly because you... Um, well, I cannot even talk. You don't have to stress it. You don't have to keep an eye on that many things. You just follow your uh, supports engage generally when it's tank and you're going to be fine. I don't care about this start. We're still going to probably win, although it's a pretty bad start. And yeah, this guy murdered us all. And with a pretty terrible invade because they were all here and we were on all five here. It's fine. I'm going to help him with two Qs. All right. So on both you have a nice time if you are doing it right and you don't have a nice time if you're against Draven or maybe Morgana or if you don't have a proper support because if you have something like a Yumi's and you're against an early ADC it's going to be hard okay and if you are against tanks or uh, and they know how to engage on you and how to tank for the ADC or if the ADC knows how to play with clans that's a bit harder you're still gonna have a decent lane though, but you can do it more easily than on, the, on other roles and it's as snowballish and as on top probably even more because you can just get a lot a lot of kills, stack the Dark Harvest and yeah I'm going to runes right now, let me just deep word. Playing with Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter and Presence of Mind, Cup the Grace and these rune stats and most likely I'm going for anti-heals because, well, obviously Atrox, Senna, even Ahri has a passive. And if I hit here, well, there is nothing to hit, I don't have W. I could, I could be annoying, I could definitely be annoying. We are insanely annoying, man, what? They can't move. I need level 3, I need level 3, I need level 3. Didn't get level 3. I'm still fine. Listen cannot do anything. Come on. Come on. Let's kill him. Okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 go. Well! This is how we turn the game around. And that's his vision word. This is wasted gold. It's fine. Okay, if you hit anything, anything, onto anyone. Oh. You hate your life, aren't you? I could have flashed. Should have flashed. But then again, look how beautiful it is for us. We're going to win this, I'm 100% sure, because that Lee into the bit there. And if he ganks us, he's not going to kill anyone. I really hate that sustain though. I'm gonna sustain myself up. For items, uh, Landry in this comp could work, but I think we need burst for the. Uh, against Tahm, I think we don't need burst. We're not going to ever kill Tahm if we aren't going Landry. So, Landry, obviously, Seekers, because you're on bot, it could make your life 
much more beautiful zone after that. Uh, on this lane, I don't think particularly against fasting, and I don't think Seeker is that useful. But we'll see. I don't think I'll go for it. And a stun from Brand would have been useful. I'll give you that. He has no mana. We can get here this. And I think Lee Sin is traumatized after he just ganked us. So I'm going to push this in. Tom hates his life farming. He can't really farm. I can just do this. And we back off. With the book. With the kill. Life's good. We're ahead in CS. We got the plate. We win any 2 versus 3 really. If we both have sons. Going for a vision ward in the pot. And I'm going back. So the build on uh, bot would be. Sork Shoes. Tom, uh, Lost Chapter, uh, your pick between Ludens and Landris. Don't go ever Frost because you already have your support theoretical CC. And then Rabadons, simple. Maybe Void stuff. Do not go for these two items because they are a bait. Horizon Focus and uh, Landry. No, uh, sorry. Riley. Right. These two are a bait because they are inefficient gold wise. Uh, and. If you look over any gold wise graphs, you're going to see that it's. I'm dead. Well. I, I've seen that they are so aggressive and the guy even flashed on me. I would have expected the ping, but it's fine. We're going back to lane and. Honestly, I didn't expect that roam. Alahri being 6 and all, because. If you look at CS. Well, I think he just farmed worse. Uh, we could go here, we could go here. Or he just hinted. I don't think he's dead. Go, 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 go. Go, go. We back off, we kill Senna. Aha! Uh -huh. Gang me more, please. And then fight. Four versus four. Let me. Please let me. Me. I said me. And that's a stupid idea. That's a very stupid idea. Because we're against the least scene who can just steal it. Well, I need to push the scene regardless. Uh, I'm gonna get the cannon and then go help. Well, it seems like they handled it. I didn't like the idea of that because it's a useless strike. So going, look, Ahri was coming. If she moved faster, and this wouldn't have been so fun, would have it? And I think Ahri is coming again, so I'm just gonna wear it here. That was my fault that I didn't notice. I, again, my macro awareness is trash when I do so. But then again, he wasted flash, Tom. I'm gonna proc that. And we are pretty good in farm. We're pretty good in everything. I'm gonna proc the pot. And as you can see, he can block pretty much all, whatever he wants. So I'm gonna wear that for the Lee Sin. And we want to jump onto that. And we want to separate these two. And... <laughs> Poor Tom. <laughs> he got so trolled. <laughs> I did exhaust for no reason though. There. So that's my fault. But I guess it's okay. My man got the kill. That's bad. Although we cannot really die now. So that's good. And I get a lot of farm on top of that. And wait. <laughs> got it. Yep, I'm there with the flash if you need my man. With the listen stopping skills. Okay. Good. Holy moly, the amount of poke this guy possesses. And this, I think, is the worst game of those that I've played today. But then again, I'm still destroying the lane, so... Really, Fasting Senna is getting heavily countered. We see Lee. We see Lee. Ah. We dodge the tongue. I'm flashing out, I'm gonna die here. If 
he hits me, I'm dead. Eh, uh, uh, he sacrificed for me. He sacrificed for me. Oh! <laughs> this game sucks for me, man. <laughs> you gotta have bad games as well. Oh! The teleport! The play! Well, it's done, we won. And... Push this, and I'm going mid. Push another wave. Or not. Okay, okay, I'm going in, I'm going back, but... But yeah, it's very hard to lose it in the context in which we have five damage dealers and they have two tanks well one tank that doesn't really output damage one senna that will take a lot longer to deal damage mid that plays with seekers so he will be very late in damage top lane that's an atrox listen that's a not scaling champion so it's pretty damn easy i could ult I could ult, I could separate them. I cannot really contest that. But I can try to separate them. Well, yes, I have to farm. Man, that's a long skill shot. That's a very long skill shot. Anyway, on bot, your goal obviously is to follow your supports engage and do the full combo onto the target. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Not sure that Lee might be here, that's why I'm backing off. Akri might be here. Akri didn't go towards the bot side though, so. But then again, we can get teleport flanked. So I see that an option as well. We need to check the Drake. This in is top, so that means we can easily just take this and we can. I mean, how can you lose that? If you play Lee and you don't win early, I have bad news for you, man. And that's why I hate early junglers, because one thing can go wrong and you have absolutely no way of coming back. And so... Oh? Nah. Exhausting, but I'm gonna get eaten alive. We cannot win this if I int. But... Ah, oh, he has ult. That's broken, though. I hate that champ. Although... <laughs> well, I don't have to do anything to win this, and I hate that. I really want to be useful. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, okay, so we're going... We're going to Drake. We could take it. Come on. We're going to. He's level 6. <laughs> He's level 6. He's level 6. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it's impossible to lose. Now, Senna got some kills. Good for her. I cannot really go through the time anymore, so that's why we have this kind of issues until I get land, uh, Landry's here, which is now. So I'm gonna full combo this. And I'm just going for Lyandris right freaking now. And I'm gonna ping it. And I'm going for Vision Words as well. Level 8 though, so it's still fine. Okay, that's a problem. But then again, problem. Mm. 50 CS gap, 3 levels, 4 levels. Jesus. How do you even lose that hard early on, man? Oh, I think I know. We got him there. And then we got in the air without the Nocturne. And then uh, Nocturne took his jungle and his everything. So that's how it went. But I could just poke him. But if she hits me, I'm gonna die. If she hits me with her annoying CC spell. Although, it seems that on top, that Atrox is a problem. Let me just vision word this. Ah, that's not worth it. Okay. 
they flush out the liquid? Where is the Lucian? Where is the Lucian? What? He disconnected or... What? Is this some form of trolling or... Because we could have definitely killed them all there if you just followed. This guy also teleported. We could have killed them all, but... I don't know. Uh, this is just me getting tilted right now. I think I have to go mid to farm or top. Yeah, I go top. I could even ult. So on bot you could do some interesting things with your ult. You could catch people, set up, <coughs> as you've seen the split towards the top. <coughs> you could uh, set up for your support to come, for example, and then you do the whole combo. It's a lot of things that you could do in... Well, the Nocturne farms, really, there is no way to have problems these games. I cannot do anything towards the Atrox, because he's level 12 as well. Okay. And I really hate this. But what I can do is ult out. We cannot beat that man. We cannot beat that. And he has also movement speed. Because we don't have anti heal. And he got a bit inted by the Orgot. We need anti heals. I would go for boots, but this is much more important. And we won bot apparently. But he should have run, because with this build, maybe with uh, Kraken Slayer, but even then. I don't think so. And he's dead. And I don't know what Ahri does, but dead as well. Lucian is dead. Yeah, if we int the Atrox, we're not going to win, because Fed Atrox is no no. And I also don't have Ignite, because I should have bought that. Look at that, man. <laughs> Look at that. I guess that happens. In this context, we could could definitely push mid. Okay, so we go mid. We try. This is an int game. I, I I'm not ashamed of it. Could have done better early on. Could have not get caught. But still, this guy is still a lot of levels behind. We can go for Drake and. My nose itches, that's why I'm doing that. And we won't kill without Ignite, we won't kill the Atrox. No, just just stick here. Just stick here. They don't have words here. They do have words there. Okay. Simple enough, if we can kill the rest as well. And somehow my bot died. I need to abandon you, man. I cannot help you with that. I cannot really help you with that. If Lucian dies randomly to the Ari, we're not gonna win. I don't deal damage to that Atrox man. Oh wow. Eh, yeah, nah. Completely, utterly useless. If you're behind, you're going to have these kind of games. And now apparently we are losing. Strictly because we cannot kill the Atrox. Strictly because, well, mid laner decided to stay in the bush. Stuff like that. So, what do you might ask? Well, get Sork Shoes, get Anti-Heals, hope that my ADC knows how to use Ignite, and that's all we can do, really. And this guy does that. I, he either kills everyone or no one, really. 
I'm far away from you. I really am. And I see this guy. I need to flash out. Okay. Okay. Can't really do more than this. But I do want to. Yes! Haha! -ha! That's the worst part. That's that's what I went in for. And yeah, the stopwatch, because well, Lucian's farm can actually win it, so yeah, Endor God re resists a lot, so we're going to be okay-ish if we don't get caught. I do have the worst scoring team by far, haven't farmed in a while, and still I'm outputting a lot of damage, and this guy still dies. Well, this is a free, 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 because he's dead. Go! Or not. Do it! God, if they come this way, I'm going to be real pissed. Man! Just give time to Atrox to teleport, really? Come on! Yeah, congrats. We would have had time, but... I guess not. And that's what I hate when I'm not overfed. I cannot command stuff because no one listens if you're behind <sighs> I guess we adapt to the current situation I'm not going deeper than that <clears throat> there was a listen we've seen him And yeah, that's what happens to a listen that ends. Basically, okay. I cannot go closer than this. Atrox kills everyone, Penta. Because he had time to heal. Could have got teams too. But yeah, listen gives us the game and we don't want it, basically. <laughs> Why do you ping my orb? What did I do wrong? What? We need to kill the Atrox. Every single ult needs to go on Atrox. I have exhaust, we need ignite. I do have orb, but... We could have done Baron, but... I guess not again. Because we trap freaking trap man that's what we do and there might be an atrox passing by here apparently not there might be here them doing this i'm behind in level because i haven't farmed in ages so what i want now is to get the farm top if possible don't have the ult to escape but i do have a word here okay i see that definitely seen that oh man come on Okay, use your dash. I'm gonna have to exhaust this guy. No one is coming to help. Come on, man. Look! I gave them like how many seconds? Can't even farm then. I guess uh, it's going to be an awful game. We get better days. Now what they have to do is to stay safe, because I died before Drake, so I'm gonna ping those. That's, I think, my word. It's no one buttered, and we need to go here, and I don't have anything now. Ah, oh, man. Well, could have gone the long way around and tried to ult out. That didn't really work. Okay. So get it for free. Just careful at the Atrox. I'm here. Go, do it. Okay, and now we could probably 5 versus 5 it. 
or not. But we did fine. Oh! We could have continued, but I really don't want to ult in for no reason. So that's how you play it. It's fine. At least you know anyway, in so. In I'm not sure why Lucian is so defensive. Because he could literally do this all day. Ah. <laughs> we win. We win. Don't get charmed. You got charmed. Okay, three more seconds. Ah, uh, int it. Or? Ah! Oh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> Nocturne doesn't even bottom it. <laughs> it's helping. <laughs> get the lead and the Drake is free. You get the lead there, the Drake is free. Or don't, I guess. 200 more gold for the Zonia. I want to have Zonia next fight, so I just sell the ring. I get the kill on top, and this should be it. Should be free. This should be free. If they don't want to do it, I'm gonna be triggered. I'm 211, and still I got good ideas. So that sounds so stupid when I think about it. Or you can just take the entire jungle, waste more time, and not rush it as you should, and then do it. And because you started it too late, you cannot really do it anymore. But yeah, I do have an ult to keep them busy. Oh boy. That's... we should back off. Listen, won't even think about it. We could beat them so easily. They have to go bot. I have to go bot. Okay, it's fine that we reset. Uh, I have this bad habit that when I'm behind, I kind of stop farming and just go full numb for those fights. And I'm gonna die here. If he kills that... Okay. Haha! <laughs> yeah, that's game over. Practically, certainly, surely game over. Well, we still win, just it took us a lot more time to do so. I'm going to meet and greet the listen if he wants to come. Hello! Exhaust to the face. You cannot do anything. That was a wasted exhaust, but still. Because even if I died here, it doesn't matter because these guys win anyway. Could have held the exhaust for the Atrox, but. Well, yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah, I'm dumb. I thought they had tower. That's why I pinged. And we can recall now. Or. We can get absolutely caught, and that would work as well. Get in the middle of the minions, dodge any charms. That's your one way out, out of this. And Nocturne going in wasn't my, wasn't his brightest idea, but yeah, why not? He should have survived for Drake, really. We can get the book. Two vision words. We could have had soul. I mean, we do get there in time. And this guy will do probably intish things again. I don't get really in time. Lucian does. And they have to def it. They have to def it. And if they get caught here, which they just did, it could be quite problematic. Brand damage? Brand ult? The solution is going bot. Eight seconds. 
seven. I'm going in. I don't care. I'm going in. I'm going in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got this. <laughs> Only that I've also kept their entire team from recalling and we got the entire base. <laughs> Christ. That was illegal. What just happened there was completely illegal and dumb. Oh boy, that that listen tilted me forever with that play. Not even that man, not even the drag from a freaking Lyandry tick. From E. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, my day is better now, but boy, this game was bad. It's pretty much clear that it's 11 p.m. or something, and I cannot really keep up. Or 10, or I don't know. Yeah, it's 10. I'm <laughs> still speechless about that play. Int whole game for this exact moment, guys. That's what you need to know. Let's end. Because at this point they have absolutely no way of doing anything really, unless they get caught right here, right now. Still, Urgot is level 14, that's that's bad, isn't it? Because I'm 14 too. I'm the same level as their quite fed Senna. Oh, frame drops. Do you mind coming? Or you could go to take the blue for no reason and let's spend more time till someone randomly gets caught. My man is taking blue. Come on. We have here waves. We have everything we need. I could try to rush the Nexus down, really. I'm gonna put a deeper word. I'm gonna do it like this. So they hate themselves. I can cast the. I can cast that. I don't mind. I can hit the Nexus also. I don't mind that either. <laughs> that was synchronized. So that was the bot game. It's certainly a tragedy compared to the others, but I'm not ashamed of it. See you into the support game. This is definitely one of the simpler roles. Uh, as you can see, I'm not very experienced in it though. But it went well eventually, as I said, we couldn't lose that. So, uh, yeah, it's simpler when you have a tank, when you're not against stuff like Draven, or even if you're against Draven, but you're careful. It's, it takes a little practice, but it's much more simpler than the rest on what you need to know. Map-wise, you just have to be careful to gank some micro stuff, and you're, going, you're good to go. That's all for this uh, game. I'm going for support. So here we are into the support game we are playing support for a senna she didn't write that she's fasting so i'm not sure yeah she's not and uh, i were against the rail samira on bot which is a very difficult early uh, lane and we're going here to defend whenever you go here do not stay into that spot you're not going to be able to defend from here as you should not yeah this is a good spot this is a bad spot. This is a good spot. This is a bad spot. This is a bad spot. This is a good spot. Somewhere here. So you can see, so you can back away. You have time to react. You have time to run. So when playing support, I generally play with Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Raven Santa, Prince of Mine, Cup the Grace, and these rune stats. And for the build, obviously, you're going to need some vision words. You're going to get the word item and then transform it, and you swap to Oracle. So this will become your word, this will become your oracle, then you go for sword shoes. And this is quite expensive for support, so we could either go for this for Ludens, Lyandry is one of those, uh, and based on the comp, Lyandry also works, but um, you could also go for something like, uh, what's the name of it, I forgot. Well, for Night Harvester, because it's a bit cheaper, but then again, you wouldn't really have that much mana. So you would probably hate your life. And going for tier is not allowed. And yeah, I guess it's still it's still Lyandris that you should go for. 
Nagyon dead pók. Oké, got her. Nice! Senna is broken. <laughs> And I love it. You mind going away from CS? Oop. One more auto here. Yeah, whenever you're playing support, I guess support is the most... Uh, let me find something. Most what? Most... Most mid-roaming role. I'm not sure what to say about support as being the most something. Uh, okay, we got that. Now being ranged on support, you could definitely get advantage against some tanks and most uh, enchanters. You should have, you should be able to get advantage, and you should just be careful to the full engage. I'm not sure what to say on support is most something role. I'm really, I'm really not sure what. I don't think this has any special trait, but you can definitely roam mid. This is a role that roams mid the most, I suppose. Okay. Good. Oh, boy! We did that fine. So, when playing support, you're supposed to play like this, to die for your ADC, get the Dark Harvest procs, put your ADC ahead, 3 CS onto the Samira, by the way. So, Kha'Zix has no anything. You could definitely take that for free. He might come here, and you're not checking it, so that's also a thing. But yeah, <laughs> if you are having a range, if you are against tank support and as a ranged Leah, obviously you're supposed to keep their ADC away with your uh, ADC, make his life a living hell and you'll be fine. Oh, that shouldn't have happened. And I'm going to be annoying and this guy is probably ruining his CS levels, I'm, I'm got that to my face for no reason. 5 CS Samira, I guess we're doing pretty damn fine. And I could get rid of this. Are you really losing that much CS for this? Are you really? Are you really doing that? Come here. Man. <laughs> Alright, let's make him lose a little bit more CS, why not? So this is the fun-ish part, but then again, if you get against the Leona and Nautilus and you don't know what you're doing post level 3, you can definitely int. So we are in a good spot right now, they cannot really come close, we just hold the wave here. And we're fine. They cannot get close, no, don't push. Don't push, just chill. Just chill, because we get the insane CS advantage. And we are winning. She's level 4, but it doesn't matter to us. Because look how behind she is. I don't even have to do anything, I'll just go here. And do some poke. No rush. Ah, uh, man, you should have got that auto attack. Yeah, when you're support, you should auto attack to help your ADC. Okay, Kha'Zix is dead, which means you can suddenly become a bit more aggressive. And we aren't exactly winning this because she has Kong. Or we are winning this because she didn't go behind the guy. <laughs> oh! Oh! He's going to jump, isn't he? Yeah! Oh! My man escaped. Alright, so we can go for Tom. Back off. What is Fiddlesticks doing? Okay. Nocturne is here, but we're going to definitely lose this. We did get the Yasuo. We have the Yasuo here. We could probably cut them in pieces. 
old. Yeah, he's dead. Good enough. Good enough. We're gonna continue the advantage, but as you've seen, if you don't poke well enough, we're not going to be winning this. You should back off, man. What are you doing? You're coming back. No! It's a big no. Just recall, you have gold. So... Ah! Ah! I almost tinted! <laughs> I almost tinted. Oh yeah, she's done. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere else. Ah! <laughs> and Ahri is coming here. Oh, Ahri is no longer coming, so we're fine. Now, if Kha'Zix comes, he could definitely kill me. And so, we need to speed it up the push process. I cannot really help her, but she does have heal. If I stay here, I will just die to the Kha'Zix for no reason. Okay, so our focus, yeah, again, I think I found it. Support is obviously the role where you actually... You lost all HP on Drake, what game are you in, man? And why do I have chat enabled again? Yeah, that's a toxic one. Let me... So support is the role where you have to have the best word control and the best... Uh, Map awareness towards that. You are 100% dead. You should have gone like that, but apparently not. <sighs> are they going to ping each other? Because I'm going to hate this. We're just gonna boost the Samira to astronomical levels and we're gonna win from there. Oh. Okay. I can, I can definitely poke you like this. We're still ahead, 10 CS advantage, maybe more. God, how do I mute them? Wait. Tip, 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 tip. Full mute, let's go. You also have to be aware that there is a Kha'Zix. And so, maybe we've seen him, we've seen where he is. Well, Fiddlestick just missed his ult on, onto that. And we, for no reason, ulted there. Maybe steal it. I have only my W. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Uh, okay, or not? Simple enough, but why did Nocturne abandon me there, man? Also, six stacks of Dark Harvest, this goes pretty well. They int it again, and why are we pushing with two people? Kha'Zix doing Kha'Zix things, obviously int it. This is the role where it's the hardest to carry, to be honest. And also the role, again, when you have to control most vision. Wait. Wait. I really expected him to deal more damage. He had flash. Well, he got her. He had flash, he could have auto attack one more time. We would have won. This is just a mechanical misplay from our guy here. So, unlucky, I guess. Going for the Oracle Lens, and we have to start working, we have to start being that weird bot. And we are winning bot pretty well, considering Samira is well fed. But in terms of team comps, we will have very few AP damage, even though we have this guy's. Nice! Good one. Good one. Okay, let's just. 
let's push this put it under the tower and we can definitely put a vision word uh, I don't want to put a vision word there okay we win that Ahri is there so that's fine for us shouldn't have got that CS I just wanted to quick push so that we actually get here some advantage now if Rel engages uh, we might I might get taunted into the tower but I won't lose I want Samira to lose as much CS as possible she has shield bow so I put the vision work here so we can actually cast an ult a proper ult well I see she gave up <laughs> what are you doing man I'm staying in that bush, I don't care. And I could probably do a better word. Now, uh, there, there is definitely a Kha'Zix coming in. Okay, we can get the rail. Or we cannot get the rail, but we can get the Samira that works too. I expected him to turn around, but he didn't. Which is fine for us. Killing the Samira though is what we want. And this guy is dead. I mean, it was obvious that he's dead if he stays solo HP there. Let's recall, 30 CS gap, and I have already 8 Dark Harvest stacks. We control the vision properly, we're doing our thing. I'm going for uh, Ludans, because I really like the burst against these champions. And we need to go for that trick. So I cannot really... I could have gone for Boots here, but I don't really want it yet. Uh, I'd like to have the burst from Ludans, because on support it's better. Most likely if you don't roam, and I cannot really roam mid because of the Ahri ult. If I win bot, I have no reason to roam, and you should do the same. If you win hard your bot, unless you're both top end jungle and all other lanes are losing. I think I broke his... Okay, it's fine. Got that one. And I'm going to do a deeper word here. Should have pinged that the bot lane is missing. That's on my part, I suppose. And we can catch Samira here. And there is a Malphite ult that's gonna come, or not. Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix, that's on my part. I should have said SS sometimes. Um, I have Flash. There is a Drake. The Drake is taken by the Kha'Zix right now. And we cannot really address that. I guess it's fine. I could cast this here. Okay. Okay. Dodge, does the charm. Kill him. Word. Uh, that flesh wasn't really worth, but okay, never mind, never mind, very worth. <laughs> but we did lose the Drake. Now going over frost could also be a thing to set up better the combos, but then again, I think I'm going over frost this game. Or yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And cooldown reduction boots because I have a Fed Senna. If I keep them away from her and defend her, I would be fine. We get this tower, we get we have massive advantage now. And Ahri rarely carries with... Uh, Ahri doesn't really have that much damage, really. Now, I move here. Full combo. Wait. I could move here. All the way for Senna. Hold it right here so that she doesn't lose CS. 
Oh no, you were frosted. Yoohoo! That's what you gotta do as support, man. That's what you gotta do. And now that the asshole has farmed. Man, don't miss that. Now that the asshole has farmed, we are in a way better spot. Going ever frost is also a tanky thing. Get that. Thank you. And it would make you more beefy. But if your team doesn't have damage, our team has damage. But if you had the Malphite, for example, in the Galleon mid, obviously you would have had to go for Landris or something. And in this context it might work, and also these boots are cheaper. That's why I did what I did. I'm gonna get ulted in my face by the Malphite. But that's fine. That's not fine. Killing him though. Ah, I'm dumb. But we still win because... <laughs> because we're much stronger and Agri wasn't there. No, back off. I'm just tilting with them. I'm just tilting with them because <laughs> cause they shouldn't have died like that and I just followed. <laughs> oh my god, that was bad. Anyway, Cosmic Drive next thing and we're good to go for the tankiness part. We have really no ways to lose this unless we massively screw up. And so we're going to be fine. We just need to get next Drake and I should stick to the Senna. As a support, as a non-support main, I don't have that habit and I should definitely have a better vision score because I didn't move around the map much, but against the Kha'Zix I'd rather live to be honest because I could easily die. So let's go and do our thing, we start, we have to start to uh, clear words, we have to start to be everywhere around the map in terms of vision clear, so I'm going here. We check for the scuttle, there is no scuttle. We do a deeper word, we play with our fiddlesticks, we don't. Uh, we defend him here, also ultimate if needed, so stick to your guns, help your teammates in need. Okay, we can get this scuttle. This is the next logical thing, this guy might die. Okay, that was an Akri ult, back off. Alt here. Everfrost to be sure. Uh, ignore the bot. We could have to actually do Baron. Akri has an ult. Yeah, we could, we could, we could, we could. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Akri has no ult. Malphite has, as far as I know, no teleport, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, he's coming, he's coming. But we can still get it. See? We could still get it. Easily. And that was a very good call. And if you lose Drake now, it's not a problem considering we just massively gained a lot of stuff. So we're fine, really. Let that Drake go. We just break base and win the game. Now, they have absolutely no chance to win this unless we massively screw up. Unless we massively screw up again. No, no, no. Go mid, go mid, go mid, go mid. Just don't, don't randomly get insta one shot it. Okay. That was a waste. That was a very big waste of Yasuo Flash, and if he does that, I mean, he doesn't know what Samira W does. Ah. If I get that there, we would have done a bit more. Let me just... Man, Siege. We beat 5 versus 5, we beat them. I can just poke, just just stick towards here. 
let the cannon do his job. Okay, Kha'Zix. We won't catch him, we should move and start taking towers. Or we can catch this guy, but adopt. That's on flash. And now we could breach. We could breach mid now. Because it's 35 seconds, we could do a 4 versus 5. No, just, just go, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Samira is away. Easy, 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 easy. As I seen, as you've seen, I'm also healed up. Breach it, breach it. Excellent. Back off. Okay, this guy escaped, this guy escaped, it's fine. Made sure everyone got out happy and alive. And what we need to do now is try to get the last Drake. And I need also some vision words, but I don't have space. If this guy keeps doing that, we're not gonna get anywhere really. It seems like he mark his macro is a bit into the drain. We all escaped and he decides to do that. Going work here, Fiddle Six is coming. Okay, this is the next logical spot where Kazix would come. So I'm like 80% sure Kazix might come here. 80%. Let's predict it properly. Yep, 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 yep. He's in thing and I'm getting ahead of it. I'm I'm on top of the situation with his int. We are going mid for no reason right now. Because there might be an Akri waiting for you here. They've seen us. Yeah, there is no Akri there. But we should be doing Drake, man. Yeah, we're catching someone here. We might be catching someone here. Ah, never mind. We're just ramming for no reason. Just a ramming, which is bad. It's bad. Go Drake. Go Drake. Come on. Come on. Clear it up. Make it impossible for them. Here. 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 We are staying so... That's, that's obvious that they will word it there. What? Nice! I'm in the front line. We need this Drake. Okay, good. We won. Right. Heal up. Dodge the charm. And end it. Come on. Easy. Easy. And we can recall now. Baron up. Also broken in hip. We won this massively. Yasuo got one versus one by the Kazakhs though. That could have been prevented. I guess two vision words again. I'm still... Well, I think 
and not first by far. How do you even get vision score that high on fiddlesticks? Are those fiddlesticks dingy that never disappear or what? Yep, most likely. And now we want to set up this. Take that. Take that. And we want to set up this properly because if you're not careful, I'm not gonna take this, am I? Okay, good. If you're not careful, we might lose and we want to create. This is a suicide. Okay, go, 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 go. Definitely end. Wait. They cannot really clear. What are they doing? Careful to the ah. Okay, go Baron. Kazakhs. Kazakhs knew what he had to do. <laughs> Go Baron, go Baron, Malphite no ult, go Baron, we have time, it's free, real estate, guys, I hate this, I really do, because it's a free Baron, by a large margin it's a free Baron, just take it, just freaking take it before Kha'Zix decides to come. Or not. I guess not. Oh my god! He had no smite. <sighs> it would have been done. They just decided to waste time here for no reason. <sighs> Gotta hate that man. Gotta hate it. Gotta hate it. Those decisions, man, cost those microseconds waiting for stuff course is going to be hard oh my god 500 bounty now it's going to become very difficult especially if they keep getting robbed one versus one by the yeah flash I also deal a lot of damage which is pretty good oops stole that for no reason So, if they wouldn't waste time there... Man! What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Holy! My man doesn't cast fear. <laughs> Catch. Or not. Oh boy, man, this guy. And trick up. We probably cannot end. We could probably end though. We can. Uh, no Baron. Yeah, we could have ended. Obviously, this guy doesn't follow, but at least we get Rick. I could have flushed out that, that was an int from me, probably-ish, sort of. I'm going for this into control words. 
We could have ended though, that's my vote. But if we went there and somehow they inted and Malf got all the CS, which I doubt that could have happened, then we would have lost soul. So, ish. I gave a huge shutdown to Kazakh, but at this point it doesn't matter anymore. It, we should be at the point where uh, we no longer easily die to the Kazakhs, especially since I have 3 HP items, 77 armor, it's quite late game. So we're fine, really. And I have a lot of HP. If you look at my HP, well, it's more than Yasuo. It's, it's more than Fiddlesticks-ish. Nope, not more than Fiddlesticks. Because he has that giant's belt. But I'm amongst the most tankiest opponents uh, of they could find. And... And we need to properly... We gave them a lot of CS, we need to properly... Smart it up. I see them. Ah, never mind. I gotta be out of that. Ooh -hoo. A bit too deep. We could still beat them. Okay. This went well. Luckily... Hit Q. Hit Q! Man, this guy. Free? Free? Oh, never mind. This is dead. <laughs> you just spam Qs there. That's what you gotta do. We win strictly because of Senna and how broken she is right now. Because she's so far ahead. And you could probably... Could probably... Get some stuff. I'm not sure though. Maybe... Nah, it's great, it's great if you keep doing that. So I get here a... I get here an elixir. Kha'Zix being so low actually made me go in. And look at that, I mean, Force of Nature on Malphite, really, against 2-7 Fiddlesticks and Everfrost, yeah, yeah, no. This guy not going armor costs them a lot more than, than it looks like. I'm fine now. Got that in time. I need to be careful that this guy might come. Yeah. Understandable. Okay, they hit charm, but they failed the rest. Okay, he had time. He had time if you get there the Kazakhs. We're good. Go, 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 go. You have a smite from Fiddlesticks, you should be good with it. A bit of frame drops again. So we get Drake as well, because this guy is so behind. I We need to go and set up vision, guys. Now, there isn't anyone here from their team, as it looks by it. I'm going to get that. I'm going to try to secure this as well. Nice. Healed up a lot. This got to be started right now. Holy. Takes it over the wall. We 
should go there and start breaching. Okay, that's a bit suicidish. Tiny bit. Okay, that's fine. Look! Solo killing that Kha'Zix. That's all you gotta do as support. That's why we won. Because Kha'Zix didn't have time to do anything because of me. Jesus, man. And that was anything. But it's still done. We won. <laughs> that that Kha'Zix tilted me by, by that pathing. I blocked him perfectly. Got him away. And, well, he does have magic resist, but he doesn't have anything else. Towers, guys. Now, and it. That was the support game. So I guess this sums up this video long enough to discuss all the roles and how I played them. Honestly, I did five wins in a row on every role. Besides the bot tainting, I guess everyone went fine. Every game went fine. So yeah, this is the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I guess Lia works on every role, she's just different tiers in different places based on my uh, tier guide as you've seen, and yeah, pick it, play it where you can, where you want, and if you feel like it's not enough for you, you can definitely go for some S tier champs, but yeah, she's fun, she works, she's, she has her things, and she's probably the only champion in the game that kind that kind of works on every single role. That's all guys for today, I'm Drew Matt. I really hope you enjoyed this and see you next time, have a wonderful day, weekend ahead, uh, bye bye guys, bye bye.